Hello, my friends. How are you today? I hope you are great. My name is Chopin Kalandarova and I'm your English teacher. So let's start our lesson. Today's topic is Yes, I love it. Children, look at these emojis and try to match them with the given verbs above. Like, don't mind, don't like, hate, love, really like. For example, the first emoji shows the love, so it means that the verb love. The rest of the verbs try to guess on your own. Okay, let's check the answers. First one was I love it. Next is really like. I like it. I don't mind, I don't like it, I hate it. Good, okay. Guys, did you know that after verbs love, like, don't mind and hate, we can use plural nouns. Let's look at the examples. She loves apples. Here we use the plural noun apples after the verb love. The next example, he doesn't like computer games. As you can see in the following sentence, if you even make the verb negative, you still can use plural nouns. But if we want to put a verb after the verbs love, like, the mind and hate, we must add the ing ending to the verb and the verb becomes a gerund. For instance, she loves eating apples. Here we put as ending because there is, as you already know, we have she, which is third person singular. And we added ing ending to the verb because there is a verb love. Another example, he doesn't like playing computer games. Pay attention if we even use the negative form of the verb like doesn't like, we still add ing ending to the verb play. Let's see the other examples to make it clear for you. He loves swimming. She likes singing songs. She hates spiders. He doesn't mind drinking coffee. We will learn new rules, so be careful. Take your copybooks and pens and write them down. As we already discussed, we must use ing ending with the verb if we have verbs like love, like, don't mind, and hate. This rule applies to most of the verbs. For example, cook becomes cooking. Watch, that's right, watching. Play, playing, study, study. But there are situations when we have to take away the last letter E of the verb and add an ing ending. This rule is only for the verbs with the E letter at the end. For instance, dance becomes dancing. We took away the last letter E. Take, yes, taking and drive, well then, driving. Pay attention here, if the verb has one syllable and ending in consonant, vowel and consonant, the last letter doubles. For example, the verb shop becomes shopping. We doubled the last letter P and added an ing ending. The next example, swim becomes, good job, swimming. And the verb jog, jogging. It's time to practice what we have learned. You can see here the given verbs above. Your task is to divide them into three columns. The first column is for most verbs with ing ending. The second column is for the verbs ending in E letter. 
And the last one is for the verbs that have one syllable and ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. Take your time and finish this exercise on your own. It seems to be difficult at the beginning, but if you practice, I'm sure it will become very easy. How are you doing, children? Let's check the answers together. For first column, we put the verbs playing, sweeping, waiting for, reading, meeting, doing, and seeing. In the second column, we have dancing, making, taking, and having. And in the last column, swimming, running, and jogging. Perfect. I hope you have successfully completed the task. If you had mistakes, it's okay, because everything comes with practice, right? Now, get ready to watch an interesting video about interests and hobby of Anna. What do you like doing? Playing the guitar. I like playing the guitar in music class. Playing the guitar. Reading books. I like reading books in the library. Reading books. Drawing. I love drawing with crayons. Drawing. Watching TV. I like watching TV on the weekend. Watching TV. Cooking. I love cooking for my parents. Cooking. Singing. I love singing in front of people. Singing. Dancing. I love dancing to hip hop music. Dancing. Listening to music. I love listening to music before I go to sleep. Listening to music. Playing games. I love playing games with my brother. Playing games. Swimming. I enjoy swimming in the ocean. Swimming. Hiking. I like going hiking in the mountains. Hiking. Taking photographs. I love taking photos of my pet. Taking photographs. Students, do you remember what was our previous topic about? Yes, we learned how to make questions in the present simple tense and how to give short answers to them. So now I will ask you a few questions and you should give me true answers about yourself. Okay, let's go. Do you like playing chess? Yes, I do. 
or no, I don't. Do you like coffee? Do you like listening to music? Do you hate spiders? Okay, great. Thank you for your answers. And now I have another task for you. Look at these verbs above and match them with the given pictures below. For example, the first picture means doing homework. Take your time and finish the task. Time is up. Let's check together the right answers. The first picture, doing homework. The second one, playing chess. The third is flying. Then, coffee, dogs, six, singing, seven, watching TV, picture number eight, spider, doing housework, swimming, sleeping, and the last one is your favorite, playing computer games. Children, do you remember what copycat exercise is? Yes, as we did earlier in the previous lessons, I will say the sentences and you should listen and repeat them after me. Are you ready? Let's go. I like playing chess. I like playing chess. She hates spiders. She hates spiders. He doesn't mind flying by plane. He doesn't mind flying by plane. She loves singing songs. She loves singing songs. We like watching TV together. We like watching TV together. They like doing housework at weekends. They like doing housework at weekends. It's the right time to the quick test. Choose the answer that fits the picture. Are you ready? The first picture is doing homework or doing housework. The right answer is doing housework, playing chess or watching TV. That's right playing chess, flying, sleeping. Great, flying. Playing computer games, playing chess. Of course, it's playing computer games. Dogs or coffee? Perfect, that's coffee. Playing computer games, doing homework. Good, doing homework. Swimming or singing. Good job, it's swimming.
singing or sleeping. That's right, singing. Spider, dogs. The correct answer is spider. Sleeping or swimming. Great, sleeping. Watching TV. Playing chess. Well done, watching TV. And the last one, dogs, spider. Perfect, dogs. And this task, you need to fill in the gaps with the most appropriate word from the given two options. For example, they really like what? Reading or visiting these books? Yes, reading these books, because we can read books, not visit. The next sentence, she likes learning, liking English. Good job, she likes learning English. Do you like playing or learning this game? Good job, do you like playing this game? We don't mind reading or practicing our English. Yes, we don't mind practicing our English. She hates doing or going homework. Okay, she hates doing homework. And the last one, he likes visiting or studying his family in the summer. Great job! He likes visiting his family in the summer. This is Mary and she wants to tell you about what she likes and what she doesn't like to do. Listen carefully and try to memorize the information. Mary is a student. She studies at school. At school, she likes history and math very much, but she doesn't like physical education very much. She likes doing her homework when she's at home alone. Also, she likes playing chess. Time, she loves listening to music and taking photos. And this is Jim. He also wants to share with you with his story. Please, pay attention and try to learn about Jim as much as you can because then we will do the following exercise. Jim is 14. He is at school. His favorite subjects are science and math. The subject he doesn't like is geometry. Also, Jim likes sports. He likes playing football with his friends. In his free time, he doesn't like staying at home a lot. That's why he doesn't mind riding his bike with his friends outside. Let's check what you have learned about Mary and Jim. You listen to what they like and don't like to do. Now you know a lot about them. Your task is to read the sentence and put the appropriate name to the empty space. For instance, who likes playing football, Mary or Jim? Perfect, Jim. Try to finish other sentences on your own. I'm sure you can do it.
let's check your answers. First one, Jim likes playing football. Second, Jim doesn't mind riding a bike. Third one, Mary likes history. Jim doesn't like geometry. Mary likes chess. Jim doesn't like staying at home a lot. Mary loves listening to music. Jim likes science. Guys, I know you feel tired, but you came so far, so don't give up. In this exercise, you should put the bubbles in the correct order. For each sentence, you will have 10 seconds. I, spiders, hate will be That's right, I hate spiders. We singing love songs. You're doing great. We love singing songs. They're doing I housework like. Well done. I like doing the housework. Do hate TV watching you. It's a question. Good. Do you hate watching TV? The mind like them they in swimming. Perfect. They don't mind swimming in the lake. And the last one doesn't like his, he, homework doing. Good job. He doesn't like doing his homework. I hope you like doing your homework because self-studying is very important. Children, we had a very interesting and useful lesson today. What did you learn? What was our topic about? Yes, now you know that after the verbs like love, like, the mind and hate, we can use plural nouns. And if we have a verb, we should add an ing ending to it. Also, never forget to keep practicing the words that we learned today and never give up. Have a good day. Bye-bye.